Hello, welcome back to Bitcoin Beats. Wait for the draw. You're having a fantastic day here. My name is Hamilton. I'm going to be walking through the Bitcoin markets today. So strap in, strap on and get ready for some technical analysis that you can trust here on YouTube. <laughs> um, what can we say here? What has happened? Oh, no, let's let's go through uh, what we're actually going to do in this video, right? We're going to be going through the short term for Bitcoin, the midterm and the long term uh, as well, because we are very, very close to uh, another position to be entering soon here. So we'll see how that shapes up. We'll see what's going on there. And uh, we'll be giving you some predictions as well, obviously, right? So without further ado here, guys, uh, what has happened here with old Bitty McSchnitty? We can see that uh, this triangle that we plotted out yesterday, I believe, this happened so quick, it's like 10% swings all over the shop here. But um, yeah, uh, yeah, we, we broke out yesterday, we played out this measure move as you can see here, right? Measure move from one side to the other for the most recent wave. Boom! Played out gorgeously. Little pullback on that as well. Good stuff. And then we uh, we kind of made a, a wedge thing coming through. The wedge thing then trapped towards the upside, trapped above the volume weighted ATR band here that we have, uh, which typically, if we're above it, uh, is like uh, an indication that we're in an uptrend, right? Uh, if we can maintain above it and, and get away from it, right? So, uh, yeah, we, we went up there, had a little trappy trap, and then a girthy dump from hell. Big Meg showing her face one more time here saying, no, you shall not pass. <laughs> and then dumping all the way down to the price action channel as well as the 21 before a swift recovery in which we are now just below our volume weighted ATR band. And uh, if we can get above this again, it's gonna be looking very nice, very tasty here for a potential long towards the sky up to, I mean, nearly as high as like, I would say potentially 44,000 here we could get to. Uh, maybe a little pit stop in the middle here at 40K as you'd expect, but uh, looking pretty good if we can get above this area. And we'll talk about that a little bit later. But in terms of right now, in terms of predictions, in terms of what's going on here, we played out the measure move pretty much um, from the last wave, right? Uh, and that was played out towards the upside, a little trappy trap. And then we played out the same measure move towards the downside as well, right? So, um... Yeah, what I would say now is it's just one of those times where we don't really have too much patterns to talk about as of right now. What we can do is uh, is try and look for some correlative points here. This is just kind of what I do uh, if there isn't anything going on. So we're just kind of filtering out potential moves uh, for the future. Uh, if we are going for more of a parallel thing from this support, right, um, we can say that potentially here, uh, we might either get rejected at 35.4 again to come down for more sideways and then a potential loss of momentum here uh, before another dump or or which is probably more likely here if we can claim this bad boy and maintain on it then uh, we're going to potentially have a measure move here that can uh, get uh, a little bit higher here up to the 37k's right which would initiate a nice little girthy long here which would be pretty good it would line up pretty nicely okay um what i will say here is though though i have said that we have at, this this isn't actually real right this this doesn't exist yet this doesn't exist yet because uh, we don't have enough correlative points here uh, that we have hit this multiple times right uh, we only have the bottom side and what we're doing here is just kind of uh, looking at this hypothetically and saying hey if we do find resistance here again uh, and we do basically just I don't know pull back a little bit more maybe one more round towards the downside test 34k one more time um, then that's going to be a, a lot more likely that this measure move will play out I would say because it's more correlative right but really all we need for this to correlate is even something like this right and it would correlate nicely and, and it would actually be more of a ascending triangle or whatever you want to call it right uh, so this is kind of what I'm looking at right now um, obviously we have trend lines all over the wazoo here but uh, the, the real the real summary here because I don't want to just give you guys a baloney like these channels I don't want to give you information that isn't valuable to you, right? So uh, what I'm gonna say here is basically 
we basically just need to make a higher high. We gotta get up here. If we can get up here and we can maintain above in this area, then I will be looking for a long and just banging it up to like 40K, that kind of area, taking profit along the way, uh, as we'll get to with the round of blue boxes in a minute, right? On the bearish side, okay, because Bitcoin does just go up now. We know this, right? Haven't you heard? Bitcoin only goes up, <laughs> right? But, um, I mean, we should talk about the bearish side, right? We're non-biased here on this channel. Uh, we have to be ready for every possibility to come through. And if we do lose this 55 here, there's 33,000 coming through. If we lose that bad boy, uh, we could be talking about a big old girthy megalodonithic drop here down to 31 again here, down to this 200 again here, right? As, as good old Curbs would say, again. <laughs> I don't know if he still says that nowadays. I haven't watched him in a while. But anyway, if we lose the 55 here at 33.5, uh, I would expect to come down to 30,500, right? Or 31K, that kind of area. If we lose the 200 here, uh, at this level, uh, which I probably wouldn't expect to do, guys, just to be honest. Like, if we were to have a move down here, uh, I would just expect to bounce on this again. Uh, it's a big enough move where uh, we would probably run out of steam. People would just start buying again. And it just makes sense to bounce off that, right? Uh, but... We should talk about it anyway, right? If we do lose that bad boy, uh, then obviously we have this volume weighted ATR band towards the bottom side, which uh, is is at the moment, if we were just to completely red candle it to the ground here, it's going to be 28k. But again, guys, I wouldn't expect to go that low. And if we did get that low, I wouldn't expect to go any lower than this. Okay, that would be probably uh, one of my ultimate longs here uh, to come through. Yeah, around 28k does make sense with that as well, right? Um, you're probably you're probably thinking like, hey. Uh, you keep going onto this screen, and yes, I have explained this for the past few videos, so uh, those of you that are regulars will know what this is, but uh, this is basically just me finding ranges and stuff using this indicator, and it's, it's pretty good stuff here, right? So, um, yeah. In terms of the short term, that's pretty much all we're looking at right now. Not really much to talk about in terms of the most recent price action. Uh, a, a few people have been talking about potential wedges that we were in, right? And I, I, I showed you the, the, the more correlative wedge. Uh, other people were saying uh, it was a little bit wider, something like this, right? And if that was the case, then we're going to have a measure move potentially down below the 55 down to there, right? 32K. But I would say it's not correlative enough for me to be uh, to be having this wedge. And I would just say the, the original wedge I drew was the more valid and valuable one because there's more points there. Um, and, and this would just be down as traps, right? So we'll see how this does play today, but it does look bullish. I can't hate it. We're kind of in the last ropes before banging it up here. So what I'm gonna say here, guys, is really just, uh, just chill out, wait, see how we do and then uh, if you do have the round of blue boxes then um it's, it's really just going to be looking for the 36.5 to break right uh, before i do continue let's talk about the mid term coming forward here um this is kind of invalid now so we'll get rid of all that um and we can see that we have been going up for uh, quite some time here we did recently uh, with our last three hour candle which was just like 20 minutes ago right uh come down tested the 10 simple here and uh, had a pretty good finish here on this candle uh, before ending it, right? Uh, a, a more bullish finish here would have been obviously an engulfing candle on this red bad boy, but um, I mean, it's good enough for me. I would say if we can get over this next zone, again, 36K is what we're looking for. I don't want to be too repetitive because that is, I mean, in a bullish trend, there's not really much to say besides, hey, we get over this point, we're probably getting to this point, right? That's the the whole video in, in one sentence, right? But um, I, I will talk about the, the more girthy things that can happen, that kind of out of the ordinary kind of stuff here, right? So with... The, th uh, the three hour here, we can see that our price action channel right now is at 32.7. And if we were to have a massive death wick here, this would be the area I would expect to catch us and bounce off of, right? Um, just based on what we've seen in the past here, as you can see, uh, lots of support being held up on this bad boy and we've only lost it a couple times. Here. This is just below 20K, as you can see. And even then the 200 held us up. So again, the trend is still strong. We're holding up here. The maximum dumpage here, I would say, would be this 200 at 26k. Uh, but we have to think about lower than that as well, just in case. Okay, so if we can bring up my, what can we see here? Let's let's go with that, right? Let's go with that. Let's let's take a look at this. I do want to look at uh, uh, sideways money today as well because I haven't actually been uh, scalping on that bad boy recently, but it, it seems like we could have pretty easily. Um, what I will say here is yes. Very bullish. <laughs> this this is ridiculously bullish in terms of uh, actual structure here on a 12 hour. You can see here, it just goes up. It just, look at it. It just, 
It's ridiculous. It is ridiculous here. Uh, this is more and more parabolic, so you can expect it to be more and more parabolic, right? Uh, what I'm looking for um, in the future here is obviously up, 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 and when this uptrend ends, because it will end eventually, guys, it won't just go up forever, uh, essentially what we're looking for here is to lose this 55. Wherever this 55 is, if we lose it significantly, and I'm not talking about like a one-day trap like we see here, right? Uh, I'm talking about losing it, losing it, and, and like losing it to the music, not, the, not, 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 okay, <laughs> literally just, just, yeah, if we lose this bad boy at any point uh, coming down, then uh, I would expect this this bullish trend to, to really, really take a longer break here. And it would be one of those bigger, uh, bigger scenarios that we've talked about in the past, right? In terms of the long term here, in terms of the uh, long term here, because this is what you're all here for, let's be honest. <laughs> let's be honest here, right? Uh, this is kind of what we're looking for. Um, yeah, it's, it's an interesting one. Also, I did want to say, guys, webinar tonight. Webinar completely free to attend. Just sign up. It's going to be at 7 p.m. UK time. If you do miss it, a few people have been talking to me saying they're in different time zones. They, they're going to miss it. Um, just, just uh, yeah, just click the link if you do miss it on the email and it will just show you the VOD of what happened anyway. So you'll be fine. OK, uh, but really, my plan here is and this is kind of like the the, the, the real point here. Right. Um, and it does look healthy. It looks very, very healthy. I would potentially expect a, a girthy drop of a cliff here, just based on what we've seen here, here, uh, pretty similar candles here, pretty similar price action. Uh, until we get over really 35, five, then, uh, we can potentially expect one of these death drops again, um, just to really shake out that, those, those dirty retail leverage, leverage junkies. Right. Um, but in terms of actual, what I'm looking for today, what I'm going to be looking for really is if we can get over 36.5 here, just over here, right, and it's looking good, then um, then I'm going to be really seriously eyeing up along here, right? So if we close uh, a one hour candle, I will say here, above this blue line, then uh, that's going to be me for the long, okay? That's going to be me for the long. And just to clarify the way I play this, it's, it's pretty easy, okay? What we're gonna be doing here with this long is just getting in, having your stop loss, like a 6% loss down here, right? No leverage, you don't need leverage here. Again, guys, um, those of you that are regulars will know that I took this trade here, right? We made 15% all in all, we took profit all the way up, and our average profit was around 15%, something like around here, right? Um, so, um, and obviously I, I held a lot more of the position on towards the end, which is why it's higher, but, um, yeah, this is essentially what we did there and uh, it worked out tremendously. It worked out fantastically. Okay, so we're gonna uh, kind of replicate that risk reward again here And uh, this isn't like a one-off. I'm gonna do this again because it worked This is something that uh, we can do a lot of the time It does work a lot of the time uh, and there's serious money to be made here, right? We do respect these from side to side quite a lot and uh, it, it really surprises me that no other youtubers or or even traders that I'm really friends with or in inner circles with are using anything like this. No one's using this. Zero people I know are using this, uh, besides obviously the community uh, that, that are, right? <laughs> Our community, right? But um, yeah, in terms of this, it's just work. It just works, right? So we're looking for the risk reward here, looking pretty good. We're gonna have our stop loss down below this blue box zone. Uh, and then what we're gonna do with that is essentially just bang it up here, take profit all the way up and just go for another 15% on there. Uh, and uh, obviously close that trade out at the next blue box zone, which is at 43K. And uh, people are saying 44K for the next top. So uh, what, what we can expect here is potentially to mess around in this area for a little bit before actually reaching that top uh, and, and waiting for this blue box line to get to 44K before rejecting us, right? Uh, and you might think that's barbaric, guys, but um, it's it, it's highly accurate. Look at this thing. <laughs> Look at this thing. It's, it's, it's ridiculous, to be honest, guys. It really, really is ridiculous. Uh, so, yeah, that's essentially the plan there. Um, and that's kind of the trade I'm looking for here, guys. There's not really much else to say besides that. So I will wish you a good day here. Uh, and I will say thank you for those of you that like the video. It helps me out a lot just based on the fact that it's, um, it's a, it's a, what is it? I got the spam bots joining every day, trying to scam people and stuff. And obviously I delete those comments, but, uh, they don't watch the video. So it brings their attention down, which means the YouTube algorithms show me to less people, which means less people learn to trade, which means more people lose money and get wrecked. Okay. So, um, yeah, we'd rather that didn't happen. So any likes are appreciated uh, to help out those algos, right? Um, and obviously, guys, webinar tonight, as I said, feel free to attend. It's completely free, guys, completely free. I'm going to be teaching you a strategy uh, that I use and have used to basically go from zero to 
hero. <laughs> his hero to hero. I don't know. We, we won't call it a hero, okay? We won't. But um, we will say, yes, uh, the strategy you will be learning is what made me uh, a lot of my money, and I'm going to be teaching it to you guys for free, right? And it's a free indicator as well on TradingView that you can use. Um, but... Obviously, we've expanded our horizons now, and we are uh, along the uh, the path here to greatness as well. So, which is good. Um, in terms of the the absolute top here for Bitcoin, before we do end it, right, ninety three now, ninety three. This will go up uh, every day, obviously, because this is this is going up. If we take off log here, um, we can see that this this is a, a curler. It's a curler upper, <laughs> right? So we'll see how that goes. But yes. Um, that's pretty much it. That's pretty much it. I, I kind of feel like there's more to say, but I don't really know if there is. Let me... Oh, yeah. Sideways money. That's what I was going to do here. Sideways money coming through, banging it out here. Let's have a look. I haven't looked at this yet, so we'll see how this does actually perform. Well, oh, okay. Yeah, this is why. Okay, so one hour here. Oh, actually, interesting. Okay, so, yeah, you could have taken along here easily at 33.9. Um, just based on this on an hourly, right? Very, very easy stuff to do here. If you don't know what this is and you don't know how this works, guys, um, those of you on the program, on the course, all of that stuff, will know how this works, right? And I'll explain a little bit about this um, in the webinar tonight. But, um, yeah, the way this works is, yes, after pump, what we're looking for is the range to flatten. And then once we hit the center of the range here, then the range is then valid. Right, and that means the strategy is then valid. Then what we're looking for is a wick over the side of the range and then a candle close inside of the range so the range does not extend. Uh, so we're not looking for something like this, we're looking for something like this. And this is actually the perfect trade, really, uh, and a good example for this. Uh, and I just quite lucky, this could have just been uh, a nothing, right? But quite lucky that um, that this is, this is shown up today and it, it works like this. So anyway, um, yeah, you could have taken a long here and in terms of percentages that long, what you would do here is just bang that long in here uh, on this candle open and then you would just take profit in the center of the range here, right? And that's a 1.3% gain. Girth! Big girth, right? Uh, what I will say here with our all-time high that we have up here, uh, if we are trading this and those of you that are trading, this is more for the, the people on the program, right? Because you're not going to be able to trade this if, if you don't have it, but... Um, yeah, if you are trading this, what we're looking for here is a wick over the side, uh, a candle close underneath, and then a short back to the center of the range. But guys, I will say this again, I say this every video, don't short a bull market. Don't do it. It's not worth it. You're just going to get destroyed. What was the, what was it? <laughs> was it this? <laughs> yeah, this one. Yeah. You, you don't want to be that guy, man. You don't want to be that guy. So don't short a bull market. Just look for the longs around these kind of areas because uh, there is money to be made here. There really, really is. Uh, this is a good example as well where a couple trades worked out pretty nicely towards the upside. So, yeah, loads of endless strategies to be had here in this market. Again, this is literally free money uh, at the moment. It's just free money uh, when the conditions line up and uh, that's, that's, that's it really. So, I'll see you in the next video, guys. Peace out. Thank you for watching as always. Subscribe it if you like it, like it if you like it, and leave a comment. Let me know how you're doing with your positions and uh, where you think Bitcoin's going to go. Peace out. I will see you tonight for the webinar. If not, I will see you tomorrow for another daily update. Peace out. Goodbye.